But back like I was saying, I got almost 5,000 people on here again after 2,000 left off from over here and, and then I ran back up here. TikTok, I, don't, I mean, um, YouTube, I don't get that many um, people on tic YouTube because I don't got that many followers and we just got our YouTube page maybe about three or four months ago. Whoa, hold up that line. You getting up that line again. You had that YouTube page since October of 2023. Let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? Because everybody was stealing stuff and putting it on YouTube. And we done went viral on YouTube and don't even have a YouTube page. I'm like, what the heck? How you going to go viral on a site and you don't even have a page? Everybody using your content. But that's going to stop because since I got YouTube now, I'm going to go ahead and get that blue check mark. So everybody that's using them content, baby, they're going to be shut down. because. So you're threatening to have... YouTube content creators channel shut down because you're saying they're stealing your content but you also have to realize that your content is dry it's boring and without our commentary and our reaction to your foolishness you wouldn't be where you are I think it's time for you to have another humbling experience you do realize if it wasn't for the tiktok creators the youtube creators facebook creators instagram creators that you joe would not be circulating like you have been because your stuff on its own isn't all of that see the creators who do commentary to your videos at a little razzle-dazzle that makes people come to look at you, okay? And then some people can't stomach you so they come to the creators' channels to watch because of that little razzle-dazzle. But you're making a threat to have Content creators channel shut down because you don't like it. Okay. It is what it is. You gotta go make your own content. Do the own do your own work. Stop trying to feed off of other people. You know, do your own work. Like I said, a lot of people on here that I be seeing they be stealing my stuff. I done seen some of their stuff and they are funny. But I'm like Just like you come over to YouTube and listen to content creators ideas about what you should do for your content and you steal their ideas and you turn around and do it because I've given plenty of ideas and you have taken those ideas to integrate it into your so-called skits or <laughs> reviews or whatever you want to do but you want to sit here and call other people you know thieves or content when you sit up in that bed by yourself every night while Rolanda's in the back room scrolling on YouTube trying to find ideas from content creators like myself. Okay. All right, well, go back to your funny stuff and stop stealing my stuff and everything will be okay. But if you keep stealing my stuff, then baby, you're going to be shut down. And in order for that to happen, you have to submit a copyright strike. YouTube is not going to do that. Because when we upload our content and it goes through the checks and we're in the free and clear, <laughs> we can upload. Only you can submit a copyright strike. But you're not going to do that because it will prove everyone right that you strike channels. And then too many false flags will get your channel deleted. Just ask your slow cousin up there in St. Louis what he was told when he was false flagging channels on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Because Meta, don't play, baby. 
Meta don't play. TikTok plays. You can do this all day on TikTok, steal people content. You can even repost their stuff on TikTok and get paid for it, you know. Oh, so that's what it is. You're worried about people getting paid off of your content, huh? When the majority of us are reaction channels and commentary channels. But like I said before, if it wasn't for the reaction and commentary channels, you wouldn't be where you are now. I mean, you're boring. Oh, but you go over to Facebook. Baby, Facebook will shut yourself, set, set, shut, sh Facebook will shut you down. down. All the way. Who's all for the un this, uh, unknown cause? Oh, that's my cousin now. Y'all see my washcloth like my cousin had made? This one I was Miss Netta. Oh, you can't see it. This is when I was Miss Netta. And this is don't make me drag you. And I'm dragging somebody. That was my slogan when I was Miss Netta. Don't make me drag you. Show wolves. And I come to your house. And I pull you outside that screen door. And I drag you. It'd be fake though. It was fake. It wasn't nothing real. It was all for content. But yeah, that's my washcloth. My cousin had made it a couple years ago. I never used it. I just um kept it around. I had my cousin made me some um Don't Make Me Drag You t-shirts. She made Don't Make Me Drag You coffee cups. She made Don't Make Me Drag You. She even had a um the little uh Incense things for your car, car, car freshener. She had me on that. She's very talented. She's very creative. Oh my God. Y'all wanna see my husband haircut? He got a haircut today. He got a haircut. And I only got my nails done. Y'all will see him late on his live. He'll probably end up going live. He ain't already went live. Cause if I call him in here to get on my live, then he gonna go in the room and get on his own. I'm like, Miss Nell on live, I get on live too. But he get on the live on the wrong site. TikTok don't pay him that much on live like they pay me. I tell him to do his lives on Facebook. That's where the money is at for him. I can't, and if I call him, he gonna get an attitude cause he playing that game and he do not. It, it, I gotta pause the whole game. You know, okay, well, stay your ass in that game. But that's a good thing. Just like I tell y'all, I, I don't knock him for playing, you know, be a, a gamer because that keeps him occupied. He's home all the time. He ain't making no money off of it. <laughs> and he's home all the time because he ain't got no job either. He ain't got no choice but to be on that damn game. Who wanna sit around you all day to talk about nothing? You are boring. I guess that's why when y'all drive places, he don't say nothing, cause you have nothing to say. He's uh not cheating and all that other crazy stuff. He cheating, he cheating on the game, you know. <laughs> Naive as hell, ain't you? <laughs> Look here, Roland is slow, but he ain't that slow. <laughs> Let me tell you a little quick story. See, I had a friend whose girlfriend at the time was a gamer and developed a whole relationship right through them headsets. <laughs> uh -huh. And then when everything went good, dumped him. Mm -hmm. So, you be all that naive as you want to, Joe. And you keep on thinking he ain't gonna go nowhere, Joe. Keep on. And the only reason you're saying that because you holding on to them punch strings too tight. Okay, you wanna control everything. But the moment Roland is get an opportunity, he gonna be gone like the wind. But he don't do all that. When you you got a gamer in your house, honey, that that. That ain't the best relationship either, because you know sometimes you'll feel like 
like I do sometimes. Sometimes I feel like that he's uh, neglecting me. You know, like you've been in the game room all day, and I love y'all too. And I'll be like, it's time for our time. And he would, I'll just let him sit in there all, not let him, because he's a grown man. He would sit in there all day, from morning to evening. And I'd be like, okay, don't you think it's enough for all that? Because when I played games, when I was coming up as a child, it used to mess with my eyes. I know it used to mess with a lot of people's eyes. It used to, like, um, like, you see colors and stuff sometimes because the game is, you know, colorful. And you see colors sometimes. And then I had a thing, like, one time I was in school, I came up in the school in the 70s and the 80s. And that's when the, the first Nintendo came out. I used to be in the classroom hearing, do 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 And I'm looking around like, is it a game in here? And that's, I, I don't know if that was in my mind or what, but that was just, that's just how much I played it when I was a kid coming up as a child. And I like, sometimes I just don't think the games and stuff is good for people, especially not kids. Cause they will put too much focus in the game and won't put focus in men and won't do it on, they won't put that much effort in their job. Children won't put that much effort in their schoolwork. They be thinking about the game then what, how to pass this dang on test. I be like, baby, you gotta get out the game. Just like his license had got suspended and he got him reinstated. But some type of way, I don't know. I don't know how the Alabama works, but in Cleveland, if your license gets suspended, you get him reinstated. You just go back to the DMV and get your, you know, you don't have to take the test and all that stuff again. But they got it where he have to take the whole test again, not just the road test, the written test too. And I'm looking like, I ain't trying to be funny, but... That written test hard than the MF. I'm telling you, I, I know several people. Done, I know the smartest people done took the written test and done, pe and done failed it a couple times. Be like, what the heck? It's tricky. But I, I, I even, I felt it the first time. And I took it the first time I felt it. And um, my friend, she took it and she felt it three times. And I'm looking like, oh my God. And I can't call her dumb or nothing because it's not easy. So that test, I'll be like, if you got to take that written test again, you might want well to stop driving for a minute because, baby, it's going to take some time. It ain't the smartness that you got. It's just the, I don't know, everybody keep talking about if um, it's easy and all that. And, and I might agree. I mean, if they was just doing the signs, well, of course it'd be easy. But some of that stuff they be asking you, you'd be looking like, I didn't see this in the book. I ain't see it. But he got to get his stuff all over again. And Do he drive? Yes. Should he drive? No. But I just be feeling like all that stuff is just, all that stuff is just a rip off. All of that stuff is just a rip off. Something to just take money, from, especially insurance. I don't talk about this. Stuff. Insurance is just a rip off. Where's the money going, y'all? Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money going? You don't have to get 10 years. Where's the money for no insurance then you have an accident you didn't have rental car service I didn't all this money I pay I can't get no rental car no okay all right then well, I, 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 I just I just leave y'all alone go get me insurance somewhere else how about that and then you go to the next person, they're going to do you the same way. And I'm, uh, they're going to do you the same way. Y'all, I'm done talking. I can't talk no more. I'm sorry, because I'm so thirsty. And I done did all this talking, so you know, I cannot keep talking and keep drying my mouth out, because I'm thirsty. So I'm going to have to get up off this thing. Um, I'll probably come back on tonight when I wake up, because I'm going to go take me a nap. I don't know about y'all, but I I need a, something to drink is calling my name and the bed is calling my name too. So, 
I think I'm gonna go and get both of them. I'm gonna get something to drink and go to bed. I'm tired for real oh, shit. And then on TV either. They fared it. You get all these apps, tape all these apps and still don't nothing come on them. Change the lineup sometime. Netflix had the same stuff on there for six months. But like take that stuff to change change it up. We pay it once a month. Change it up once a month. Give us some different stuff to watch. But yeah. But I'm gonna get about this thing. But I love y'all. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all God know I do. So therefore, baby, if nobody told y'all today that they love y'all, then God loves you and so do Miss Nelda. Now let me go in here and lay down and take me a nap. And some of y'all take a nap too, because then y'all come back, y'all can come back on. I don't be on here late night because I don't stay up late. We Charles and I don't stay up late. We gonna be early. So we finna end this live. And um, we're going to have to talk to y'all. I'm, well, I'm going to have to talk to y'all. Like, I'm going to go ahead and, and beat him up in here in this room real quick. Like, hey, what, what you doing here? I'm going to beat him up. Boop, 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 boop. But yeah. But I will be back. But y'all have a blessed day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.